Artificial compounds made in laboratories can be very helpful but can also be quite toxic to the environment and to humans. Chlorofluorocarbons, also known as CFCs, are an example of a man-made compound that has had very harmful effects on the environment. CFCs are compounds that contain carbon, chlorine, and fluorine. They are generally non-toxic, non-flammable, and were used in aerosol sprays and in refrigerators. They were first made on a large scale in the late 1920s to replace other more toxic chemicals used in refrigerators like ammonia and sulfur dioxide. The use of CFCs became so widespread that by 1960 they were used in air conditioning units in homes and cars, as well as in propellants in box sprays, paints and hair products. CFCs are non-toxic, but everyday use allows them to escape and accumulate in the atmosphere. CFCs are safe when used in the lower atmosphere where humans live, but these compounds can travel great distances and reach a layer of the upper atmosphere known as the ozone layer. The ozone layer is very important for life on Earth. It forms a protective barrier and prevents most harmful ultraviolet radiation from reaching the surface. Here, high levels of ultraviolet radiation from the sun cause CFCs to break down and release chlorine atoms. Chlorine acts as a catalyst by reacting with ozone and destroying it by taking one of its oxygen atoms. This new molecule then reacts with free oxygen atoms, liberating the chlorine to attack another ozone molecule. In this way, one chlorine atom can break down about 100,000 molecules of ozone. Excessive exposure to ultraviolet or UV light damages the cells of plants and animals, causing cancer. Due to CFCs and other pollutants, the ozone layer is being depleted. There is a hole in the ozone layer and the amount of UV light entering the Earth's atmosphere is increasing. To reduce the use of CFCs, 27 countries joined together to sign the Montreal Protocol in 1987 and three years later an amendment called for an elimination of CFCs and other compounds harmful to the ozone layer such as carbon tetrachloride. By 1996, CFCs were no longer used in developed countries. BPA is another example of a harmful chemical compound that negatively impacts human health. BPA, or bisphenol A, is a chemical produced to harden plastics and resins that are used to make many objects, such as infant bottles, water bottles, food containers, and the lining of metal cans. But as plastics degrade from overuse or exposure to high temperatures, BPA can be released into the food and water and enter the bloodstream when these products are consumed. As a result, most people in developed countries have traces of BPA in their blood. High exposure to BPA can affect the endocrine system. The endocrine system is responsible for producing and releasing hormones that are important for growth and development, especially in young children. To prevent BPA ingestion, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, has banned its use in infant bottles. Many manufacturers have removed BPA from their products. Chemists are constantly combining elements and compounds to create new compounds that improve our way of life. Often they seem beneficial and safe. However, it is always important to monitor these synthetic compounds to determine how they may affect humans, other organisms, and the environment.